Hi, welcome to another journey through timeless wisdom of Rumi. In this session, I interpret verse 25, where Rumi says, Our body, which is made of clay, can be transcended to, to the heavens through the love. The mountains can move and become agile. Or in Persian, he says, Jism khak az ishq bar aflaq shod, kuh dar raqs aamad o chalaq shod. So, he's saying that the power of love can transcend our earthy body, which eventually will be disappearing, would be transcending to the heavens. So he's talking about here, it's talking about enlightenment. In order to be enlightened, you can fill your heart with the love and not with ego. And in the previous sessions, I explained how love can triumph all the fear and the ego from you and bring a lot of joy. So here he says that the power of love can take our earthy body to the heaven, meaning that that is the way for enlightenment. The second verse is beautiful because he says that something like mountain can be moved by love. Mountains are known for being very strong, very heavy, and very static, and something really reliable, something that doesn't move much, right? And he says the power of love can move mountains. How beautiful is that? So you want to improve something in your life, you want to make some changes, you know the power of love. And let's see what can be also represented as other meanings for the love um, uh, here. So the love can be also known for the divine love. In some, you can also assume that the love is the love for your essence and just humanity because you realize your essence is the same with others. So you have love for that. You can be in love with being in the moment and really experience and enjoy observing the environment. So being a pure consciousness, that can be another uh, example or meaning for love. The things that can transcend ourselves to the enlightenment. And let's now talk about uh, how that can be applicable to our day-to-day -day life how filling our heart with the love meditation and being with the essence can help us in a day-to-day -day life in terms of uh, how it can help our feelings, our thoughts, and our results. Firstly, love can result in emotional growth. So psychologists have found out that one of the way to increase your emotional health is to feel empathy and love for others. When you feel your love for others, then uh, you will have enhanced connection with them. And the feeling and the exercising of that would really enhance you as a person and also can also help others, of course. So that could be one of the things that can affect you in terms of emotional health. Love can also increase your, uh, bring you more new opportunities. How many times in your life have you been in a situation when the opportunity was there, but you didn't take it and you regret it by this time? And why do you think you didn't take those decisions? A lot of times it's because of how you were feeling at that time. A lot of times fears, is something that stops us from doing the right thing. So presence of love can bring more opportunities to our lives where we can take them because the presence of new opportunity is not as important as taking the opportunity. 
So the third thing that the love can be used here in our day-to-day -day life is to be used for self-love that would create resilience. From childhood, we don't have, we have a lot of experiences of being criticized, feeling that we are not good enough as compared to our parents, they were a lot stronger than us. And uh, so people generally get that a little bit feelings of uh, uh, kind of low self-esteem due to lower self-love. But you, if you exercise filling your heart with the love and self-love, it makes you resilient against the things that happen in the environment. People don't approve of you. You may have challenges with you in your relationship, with your neighbors, with your friends, with work. And if you have a bit of more self-love, you will be a lot more resilient and would not be reacting to these external forces that are trying to put you down. You will stay where you are. So that is another example of how love can be used. Love can also create a positive environment. When your heart is filled with love, and you will automatically treat people with love and respect. And that will multiply and compound over time. When you treat others with love, they, they will get a bit of heart uh, warm, which will affect them in a way that they are treating others. And the environment generally can be very nice. Imagine in your current work environment or home or whatever, somebody becomes a little bit more loving. See how that can really impact the dynamic of the whole environment. The other thing that love can do, filling, uh, filling us with that, is uh, the presence of gratitude. Gratitude is about us being really appreciative of what we have. It's a very positive, uh, it gives a very positive vibe, which is very similar to the vibe of love. So when you have more love in your heart, the power of gratitude will be a lot more. And gratitude is one of the things that has really positive impact in our psychology. A lot of times, psychologists, we have seen that they're talking about the power of gratitude for mental and emotional and physical health. Lastly, the love can give us a, the best meaning and purpose in life. The best motivator in our life is, uh, is the meaning that we give to what we do and our purpose. If we have a heart filled with love for others, contributing to others become important and we will do more of it. We will be more contributing to others' lives. And that can help to make our purpose improving other people's lives. And that can bring a big purpose in our life that is very positive and it's going to motivate us to be really successful and really enjoy every step of the, uh, that we take in order to help others and also to help ourselves. So at the end of this video, I would like you to do an exercise. Use a bit of meditation. Try to get in touch with the divine love attracted to yourself. Be in touch with your essence. Love people around you for who they really are, which is pure consciousness. Realize that they are who they are. They are consciousness and not their ego, and not the, not the things that they think about, etc. Develop a little bit of this and see how you feel. Make love and contributing to other people's lives a part of the purpose that you have right now. 
see how much more motivated you get. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.